Number 67. When dots are placed on a page from a laser printer, they must be close enough so that you do not see the individual dots of ink. To do this, the separation of the dots must be less than Riley's criterion. Take the pupil of the eye to be 3 millimeters and the distance from the paper to the eye of 35 centimeters. Find the minimum separation of the two dots so that they cannot be resolved. So we need the two formulas. This represents the minimum angle of resolution. That would be equal to 1.22 multiplied by the wavelength of the light divided by then the diameter of the aperture. In this case, the aperture is the pupil. We also then need this other formula. It says that the minimum angle of resolution multiplied by the basically maximum, all right, uh, distance between the two objects, meaning the paper and the eye, will equal then the minimum uh, distance uh, between the uh, two dots, okay, are the two things that are trying to be resolved. So what are we trying to find? We're minimum separation of the two dots. So we're finding L here. So we already have it solved for that, right? So if we want to minimize L, what do we want to minimize on this side? Well, we want to minimize the angle, right? If we want to minimize the angle, we would want to then minimize the uh, wavelength. Now they didn't tell us the wavelength, so we're assuming visible light. And, uh, you know, I talked about this in number 66, I think. Uh, you know, there's certain assumptions. You can choose possibly, you know, the minimum wavelength of visible light if you want, or you can choose the average value. I'm going to choose the average value. Why? Because I feel like that might be a slightly more appropriate assumption. Um, but you can feel differently, and I necessarily wouldn't argue with you. But, uh, you know, just so we're clear. So this state is going to be 1.22 multiplied by then the wavelength. The average wavelength is about 550 times 10 to the minus 9th meters. Then divide that by the distance, you know, or the, which is the diameter of the pupil. This is 3 millimeters, so just take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Then we take this value here and basically plug it on in for theta. The R value then, <coughs> the distance between the person and the paper, it says is uh, 35 centimeters. So that's 35 times 10 to the minus 2. Just plug it all in then to find L. So this is then 1.22 times 550 multiplied by 10 to the minus 9th divided by 3 times 10 to the minus 3rd. Uh, and then multiply that by 35 times 10 to the minus 2. And this works out to be a minimum distance between the two dots of 7.83, I guess, times 10 to the minus 5th. And that's in terms of meters. All right. And uh, yeah. And then it says how many dots per inch? DPI. All right. Um, DPI, dots per inch. So what we need to do now is we have to figure out, uh, this is, this is the distance between them, right? And basically well, this is the distance between the dot. Okay. So this, I'll write this D distance O per, you know, dot. Now what we need to find is dots per inch. So I need to flip this. Okay. So it becomes one dot every single <clears throat> 7.83 times 10 to the minus fifth meters. And then we need to know like a couple of relationships, I guess, here. So I know meters to centimeters, that's 100 centimeters in a meter. And then I know that centimeter and an inch, there's about 2.54 roughly centimeters in an inch. So that's how you would do this conversion. So you would basically take one divided by your answer and then multiply that by 2.54 and then divide it by 100 and you get a value of about 324-ish, 324 dots, DPI, dots per inch. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you were definitely curious about, you know, what's the, how many dots can I fit per inch on a printer so that uh, the eye cannot resolve, um, you know, the difference between the dots. Now, obviously, right, you could, you could squeeze more dots in there, but then that would waste ink. So this might actually be a very valuable question. Great. See you in the next one.